What's up, guys? Tom Bender here. And today, we're playing some Hockey Ultimate Team. And I'm really excited because I want to show you guys um, a... I, I'm not going to... It's, it's not a glitch or anything like that, but it, it's a very uh, cool way to make pucks in NHL 14. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, I'm going to first of all show you that in my trade pile at this moment, as you can see, I put some people up already. And, you know, I have to put, you know, a couple of these guys up again. But I got these guys from this method. I started out with 493,000, and now I have 2,000 more EA pucks, which is uh, kind of cool. And I'm going to make 700 more than, you know, 2,000, so I'll be really cool. So first thing you're going to do, the way you do this, is actually really simple. You're going to go to, you know, your search. You're going to go to League NHL. Team doesn't matter. Country doesn't matter. Level go to gold. Maximum price. Sorry, six hundred. Then you go to search now, and you search that. And oh, look at that. So the you want to bid it, anybody above overall seventy four, like seventy five, and above. Um you kind of want to bid on, you just want to bid 600 on them. And the reason why is because all of these guys, most of them at least, um, uh, yeah, all of them above 75, all, all of these guys, sorry, uh, all of these guys sell for, s quick sell for 600, uh, 13 EA pucks. So you'll actually, even if you don't sell them auction wise, you can still, uh, quick sell them for 600 for you know 13 more you won't win all the auctions though so I suggest spending only like uh, to a certain point and so you don't really you know go too overboard you only either if they're like at 75 you can bid a little bit less than 600 so I just bid all that money away and you know probably one's probably gonna go oh you know it's not gonna make you any money What's going to happen is that guy's going to sell um, at my watch list. And also, the, the, there's kind of a, um, um, I guess you could see, I won already won this guy. So, see, this guy can sell for, I bid 600 on this guy. And he can quick sell for 613, but I can sell him for more. This is Jonas, Jonas Eriksson. So, I can probably sell him for more. So, I'm going to send him my trade pile. Um, and, oh, look, I got Colin Wilson. See, the, I just got an 84 player for 600 pucks, and he probably will sell for at least 100 or 200 more than 600. And, look, I got Brewer, Bauer, I think it says, Brewer as well. And I'll send him to my trade pile. And also, okay, so there's Falk. I actually got him, too. So this guy's a 77. I bet on him before this. And he sells for 750. But I really don't trust that because he's below 80. Anybody below 80, unless he's a very, very big named player, I usually just quick sell them. I mean, there's no point in having them. So look, I already made a thousand of my pucks back. I had started with like 4,000, 495,000 and something. I don't remember. Um, but that was the what I started with. So some of these auctions you will lose. Like I lost Goy Korpakoski. Uh, actually, I haven't lost anybody else. So only auction I actually lost was Lori Korpakoski so far. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, probably, yeah, I will win more. So I just got, uh, Lilies, I think. Lyle, Lilies, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, but yeah, I sent him in my trade pile. And, you know, even if you lose those auctions, um, you will... I guess you you'll make your money back. I mean, they'll send you the pucks back. The bid uh, money will stay with them until you actually will, you know, they you lose the auction. So that's kind of cool. I I think that's a good way. But if they do not have a contract, you do not want to put them up in auction. Most of the time, they will not sell for their starting price. There's no point, in, you know, spending 250. It depends on how good they are. But it's Andrew Cogliano. So I'll quick sell Andrew Cogliano. I don't really. I'm not gonna use him. Um, and look, I got it now, you're honest, Erickson. That's pretty cool. This is, see, so as you can see, we're, we're slowly making a profit here. 
like so 490k and it's, and those guys on the auction have still not you know I haven't done anything and look I can get if I um nobody notices that there's a books like I mean 750 for books like isn't a bad price actually but 600 for books like is a, is is a good steal especially for you know he's 85 overall which is not bad um so you know I still have all the four of these guys um. I will probably quick skill Atkinson. Parento will come with me, but I still have not won these players yet, so that's the reason why uh, you you know it can be go either way. Now, um, so let's go to my trip. While these guys are waiting to see if um, you yeah, know they're gonna sell or not, look how many guys got on my trade pile. And I, st I only spent like, pretty much 5k on all of them. Uh, pretty much. There's actually four more that I'll get. So, uh, if they're pretty much the, just a normal player, I put them up for 700, and I put them up for 100 more buy now than they usually would sell for. So I make 100 puck profit on each, which is not a bad profit. And you can uh, collaborate. Yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, co you know, combined, they can make a bigger profit. So this guy sells for 700. And 650. This is, you know, starting. So it's not bad. Uh, Hanson, he's same, same. I'm putting up 700, 650. You know, his skating's pretty good. I, I don't really trust it. I mean, it's not really a huge deal with me. It's mostly just, you know, that kind of stupid. Uh, Brewer, he's an 82. Skate. I'm still gonna put up for 700. Some of you guys, you're not gonna get a really big steal. Like, I got Colin Wilson. That's 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 a pretty big steal for me. A, a Brooks like would be way, 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 way awesome. You know, that's that's kind of a thing that uh, when I get those guys, I freak out. Like that's that's really cool. So Colin Wilson, this guy's an 84. Since the last, yeah, because I bought him. I was the last person to bought him. I'll put him up for eight because that's that's a pretty good price for 84. Now well, maybe seven, 750 is fine. I think 700 by now. Because I think the Brooks like was going for 750, but that was a stupid buying price. And hey, look, we got. Oh, never mind. Um. So let's go back to my watch list. I think someone didn't. Someone took. Oh, look, I won the Brooks like. So I won the Brooks like, and I I lost the the Parento. Uh, I don't really care, but I got Atkinson, Couturier, and Brooks like. So. This is that. That's pretty big. So Brooks like. Wow. That's that's a, that's a nice little. You know, see as you can see on this this way of uh, making pucks, uh, you will you will eventually make all your money back. Um, it's not gonna come immediately, and that's the reason why some people go, oh well, you know, if it takes me five minutes, then you know it's better. But there are other ways to do this, but they're way more time consuming, and I will go over those, um, you know, in, in another video. Um, I'll make a video for our Ultimate Team again, and I'll explain to you guys the 59 minute method, which is probably the best um, method of making pucks, but it's the most time consuming. It's just really time consuming. You have to sit there for a little. If the market's dry, then there's really no point in doing it. It's just boring and not fun. So, uh, so let's go back to my trade pile. So I'll put these guys up. So 491,203. 93 pucks. You guys are all up for auction. I'll tell you how much I'll make if I get them all. I'll have a calculator here. I'll tell you how much I got. So, this Sean Couturier, I'll put him up 700. And the, the Brooks like is going to be ho oh, oh, ho fun. That's going to be my favorite. I, I think I'm going to make like I could probably put him up for 1K or something like that. Eight, I'll put up 850 as the buy now. I don't know if anyone. Someone's going to buy that. 20 bucks. Someone's going to buy the 850. Um. I'll put them up for seven, eight hundred. Yeah, that's that's perfectly okay. So if everybody sells by now, so I'm taking out my phone here so I can do this because it'll make it a lot easier. So let's just uh, get the calculator. Okay, so this is how much I'll make, and I'll add it up to my original pucks. So with these guys on the auction, so hold on, seven hundred. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Seven hundred. And then we have another 700. Uh, and then we have another 700. Then we have another 700. And then we have another 700. 
And then we have another 700, jeez. And then we have a 750. And then we have another 700. And then we have an 850. So, in total, I will, if you might have done the math already, but I will make 6,500 bucks by selling all these guys. That added on plus 491,000, 291,293. I will, I will have made, I think like a 2,000 something buck profit. Just by doing this. And it takes an hour for the pucks to get there. But, I mean, really, you should, you can wait for, you know, a 2,000 puck profit. And you, waiting for it, really, it doesn't take an hour to sell these guys. You can probably go play a game or whatever, go outside, whatever you're going to do. Uh, go to, you know, go out, do something. Um, and then come back or go eat, whatever. Come back and these guys will be sold. Uh, probably. If they don't sell, just put them back up or quick sell them, whatever you want to do. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I really am happy. You know, if you guys can like it, leave a subscribe, just subscribe to my channel. Uh, it really helps. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I'm trying to put up a video every single day for you guys so you guys can see how my, how I make, well actually, uh, to, to clear up the reason why I have 491,000 pucks. I do not grind for those. I got an Evgeny Malkin, and I got a Vernon Gallagher in a pack, and I sold the Evgeny Malkin, I kept the Gallagher, uh, I'll show you my team in a little bit, but, um, you know, I, I got, kept the Evgeny Malkin, I sold the Evgeny Malkin, uh, kept the Gallagher, so I sold the game Evgeny Malkin for like 650k pucks, and, um, I spent a lot of it, I spent a couple, I've got an anti Niemi goalie, uh, I got a couple other things, but, um, if you guys want me to open packs, that'd be really cool, um, I'll open, you know, all of my money, I'll spend all of it on packs, see if I can get any of the LA Kings players from the Cup editions, I might open the 95k pack, I don't know, you have to have to, you have to comment on this video, like, when I upload it, to, to, you know, get me to do that, because I believe it's, yeah, it's June 16th when it stops, so that's tomorrow, um, so... Seriously, gonna have to be today if you message me. So, thank you guys for watching this. You know, really means a lot. If you guys comment, subscribe. Some of the on the last video commented, you know, said that the whole thing in the beginning of me saying subscribe is not really that good. That's exactly what I want to hear. So, you know, just keep doing that. Shout out to him. He really, you know, that that's that helps me a lot. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. See.